Hey everybody, how's it going? So, so look a little different in here? Yeah, I think so. It's uh, that time I've sort of assembled all the guys here. These are uh, all the glass work is done except for adding some legs. So this table here is all ones that aren't going to require legs. Actually, I'm missing one. It's on the other table there, but I just couldn't fit it on. Um, so yeah, so it's been a good year. I think pretty near 70 molds I did this year. Again, dummy, I said, you know, this is the year I'm going to take it easy and not do many. <laughs> and then it went over the top again, but that's okay. So uh, like I said, these are all ones that uh, don't require any legs that'll sit up by themselves when you pour. So I'll just give you a little look around. I still have to, starting today, this morning, uh, so I still have to strip all of these molds. So it's like, uh, I don't know if I mentioned in the, just if you're a newbie to this, like always keep your model inside while you're making the mother mold, uh, whether you're using a plaster backer or this fiberglass, make sure that you keep the model inside because you won't have anything to push your plaster or push your glass on if you if you strip it. And I know over the years we've heard of people, they say, you know, they, they finish and they wait a two, three weeks with the rubber and then they strip it. And then they ask, how do I get it to uh, form for my backer? Well, it's kind of too late. You're kind of, if you're lucky, you can squeeze the rubber back on. Sometimes it just doesn't work out very good. So remember, keep the model in the rubber until your uh finished doing your backer so so obviously too i got a lot of seams to cut i haven't cut yet i'll probably do a little video on that i think i already have already years ago but i might redo another one so my work's cut out for me stripping stripping rubber is not one of my favorite things uh on the forum web or sven you know what it's like sometimes it can be what we call a real tough pull uh, it's really hard to get the rubber off sometimes it really hangs on to the model and you get a little work You, know, you could work up a sweat stripping the models. So uh, uh, Just so folks know sometimes because I have seen you know people uh, say hey my my rubber is stuck And I can't get it off the model. It's only because it is hard sometimes It's really tough depending on what the material was inside. It can be a really tough task to get that rubber off so just this table here, some biggies, and you remember this one here, the big urethane rubber one, that's the, for the leaf bench, and the big Buddha, and the planter, and uh, so it should go fairly quick, uh, probably in a, in a week, I should have these stripped out, maybe more. Uh, with all the, you know, the COVID-19 thing, uh, we've decided to shut the store down. Uh, last week, or well, starting on Monday, we shut it down. Uh, my wife's a caretaker for her frail mother, and we just didn't want any sort of a, a mess happening there. That would be the last thing we ever wanted to happen. So uh, we made that decision. Just about everybody else is shut down too, except for guys like, like me and the guy next door. We're just, we're lone wolves, and we do our, uh, our thing on our own. And uh, I've been uh, self-isolating for years, <laughs> so uh, it's nothing new to me. It's just going to be lonely at lunchtime when you usually have lunch with your wife for the last 10 years, and then you're going to be on your own, but that's okay. We all have to do our part right and sacrifice something, so uh, I hope everybody else is hanging in there and doing okay, and, and uh, it's sort of different, tough times right now, but... Uh, I wish only the best for everybody and happiness and health to your whole family and, and loved ones. So uh, hang in there, gang. And uh, we'll probably do a little addition onto this video here. Okie doke. Bye, gang. Hey, gang. I said I'd do a little uh, extra on that last, that first video there. Probably do a couple more after this to get something some content for this week. So um, these are all done. These ones on this table have all been stripped out. Of course, these are the ones that don't need legs at all. Uh, and they're looking good, all done. These ones in the front here are uh, done. Uh, the ones in the back and the ones on that table. So I'm, I'm getting there. Today is uh, Monday. Monday? <laughs> it's Monday today. And uh, so I should easily have these done by in a couple of days here. And then these ones here are all going to get legs. 
Uh, and I'll probably show you something how I do the layout. I've done it before, but I can show it again quick. I just wanted to make this a, a fast one. I, I don't need to bore any bore bore anybody with uh, the doing the seaming. It's it's pretty straightforward, and I think I've got a vid I did a couple of years ago on it. All I want to show you is just what I do is I I take some vice grips and I clamp them down on the side of the seam. I start the seam first, then I clamp down one side. And all that does is it really allows you to open it up with one hand. I'll go this way because this is the side you do it on. So you can open it up with one hand and then get in there with the other hand. I'm right-handed. And uh, get in there and, and start cutting away at that seam in there. Uh, so it, it's just pretty straightforward. Just wanted to show you that that helps you do a little bit of... Uh, help with your hands if you try and do it without that it's really awkward you've got your you're using you know razor blades or whatever you like to use or, or exacto knives like this one and it's just thing you know, you've got your hands in there you've got your fingers in there and you're cutting away this one just allows you to put quite a bit of force you can really pull because that vice grip is going to hold that sucker really good so it allows you to get a lot of tension on that seam and then cut quite easily on there and uh like i mentioned that Pulling it off for the first time when you go to uh, unmold the strip it for the very first time, uh, it can be a real pain. It can be depending on the on the, the material that it's it's on. It can be a tough pull, and nobody needs to see me do that because I'll use really nasty language and defile somebody's mother by name, and uh, we don't need to see that. So, so you could just imagine that, and it takes a long time. Sometimes you're you're fighting with a, a piece for a half an hour or forty minutes. So. Uh, there's no way I'd tape a whole whole thing like that. So anyway, once you've got that model off, you've got the, the rubber off your model, then I just drop it down into the sink here. Just some soapy water with a little bit of dish wash-up liquid. And then I hang them up to dry. The reason you're washing is just to get, there's residue from the wax, residue from fiberglassing, some PVA, and it just gets it all off. And sometimes there's little bits and pieces inside your rubber that you can flick out and, and rub off at some of the finish off of the, off the uh, main model you were using. Anyway, that's just a quick little hit there, and we'll do some more fun things, and uh, probably tomorrow I'll do another little add-on. Thanks, gang. Hey, everybody. Okay, I lied. Uh, I'm going to strip the big one here. Because she's made, it's a fiberglass with gel coat, and it's got um, some automotive primer on it. It should peel off pretty good. This thing's been in the rubber since about this time last year. So in March last year, I just finished the rubber on this. So uh, so just if people wonder how long you can keep it on for, it's been a year. So what I'm gonna do is just a little bit of, uh, this just some soapy water. I'm gonna hit the outside of it. Just helps the rubber glide on itself. I might even give a few shots inside as I'm peeling it off. As we've talked about it before, rubber likes to stick to new rubber. And that would be a shame on this lady here. So if I put my back to you, I'm sorry, but you have to look at my butt. But uh, here we go. I'm gonna try and keep this curse free. How's that? That curse free, right? Sorry about my backside. The good thing this has a nice base that you can put your foot down on. Out of the way. So there you go. 
that's one big piece of rubber. So I'll tell you later, I'll weigh it up how much the rubber and how much the actual fiberglass frame is before we get it in there. But it uh, came off really nice. Like I said, glass, fiberglass, resin models, they peel off nice. It's when you do natural stone, wood, rocks, plaster, it can be really a tough, tough job. You easily sometimes half hour, 45 minutes, if not longer, if depending on the size of the model. So that came off nice. So that's just gonna go in the big sink with some nice warm soapy water to get all the PVA and the wax off. And thanks a lot guys.